Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for how do I use the BSP brushes geometry editing lathe tool. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So our geometry editing section is up here and it's used for editing BSP brushes. If we go to geometry editing and we try to go to lathe, you're going to find a few issues. First of all, we can't select lathe. Second of all, it says create new geometry by rotating the selected brush shape about the current pivot point. Okay, well, if we were to go into BSP and create a box, well here we've got a brush shape right here. And then we go into geometry and then we'll go up to our top and we will go ahead and change our pivot point. Now to change a pivot point, you hold down the alternate key and the, then you click the middle mouse button and it's gonna change where the pivot point is. But you'll notice we kind of have an issue here. We still can't get into our lathe. Well, this is not a BSP brush shape. This is a brush. A brush shape is different. Well, what is a brush shape? Well, a brush shape is a custom created shape used, created by using the pen tool. And that's this little checkbox right here. So let's say we were to use the pen tool and we created this wacky little shape here. Well, that is not still a brush shape. A brush shape is specially created. It's basically a ghost object we use as a template. It's only in the scene. It's only used for lathing. And it's only created if you have the create brush shape option checked. So you saw this one that I created here. Let's turn on create brush shape. And let's go ahead and make another odd looking one. And you notice first of all, it's different color. It's green. You'll notice now that we have something green selected, we have our lathe option and we can actually lathe now. Let's create something more appropriate. So what is our lathing? Our lathing is basically, I don't know why they call it lathe. I'm sure that's apparently the appropriate name for it, but lathing is a way to duplicate a brush shape around an origin point to give you a repeated shape basically let's say you had a circle and you wanted that circle to go around the center point 10 times maybe in a in a circular fashion or maybe you wanted to recreate the spokes on something the spokes on a bike or you want to easily make seating well that's what you use the lathe option for and i'll go ahead and i'll cover how to do that right now using a using the lathe option and lathing something so let's go ahead and we're going to want to create something that is let's say it's circular seating let's say let's say they are these are seats kind of like in a theater or something like that maybe the ground on a theater but it's circular maybe like a fire pit how would we do that well let's go to pen now we're going to want to go to our left perspective here and we're going to want to create basically the side perspective of our seats we're going to want to make sure we have create brush shape turned on. So let's say they start down here and they go up to here. And we'll just do something silly kind of like this. Really simple and basic. And we'll close that off. And this is our brush shape right here that we're going to use. Now, in order to lathe, you want it where you're looking at the side or the face that it's going to rotate around. You're going to want it where we're going to look at it on the, oh, let's see. We could, for example, look at it on the, I think it would be the front. Yeah, let's look at it on the front. No, because we're going to want it to rotate. So we're going to want it on the top is what we're going to want. How this is going to work is basically we're going to pick our pivot point, tell it the lathe, and then it's going to rotate around that pivot point and fill in using our brush. And I'll show you how that works here. Let's look at our perspective. Here's our brush. We can say it kind of looks like the side profile of stairs. And what we're going to want to do is take and rotate that out. We'll go back to our top. We'll click on here. We'll use the Alt and the middle mouse button and say we want a rotation point right here. We're going to go to Lathe. And then we're going to go ahead and set up the default. Our default is going to be 16 segments, four total segments drawn. 
we'll hit apply and we'll see the result. Here's our result. It's kind of like a little bit of curved stairs and a curved, curved seating. We basically took our side profile item here, which was, if we select this, it's this item right here. And along this rotation point, which I had set here, we rotated it out and created this polygon set. Rotated again, we created these polygons here. Rotated again, created our next set of polygons. And then rotated again and created our last set of polygons. Four groups of polygons created around our center pivot point. Let's undo this. I'm just going to take a little while because I selected stuff. And we'll go back to our original shape. We'll go back to our top and we'll cover the options. So clicking on our item, resetting our pivot point down here, going to lathe. We now check out our options. We have 16 total segments and four segments are being drawn. If this number and this number match, it's basically a 360 degree circle. If the segments is lower than the total segments, it's a fractional part. So let's say we wanted 20 total segments and we wanted this to go in a 180 degrees. We want it to be half of a circle. We will want half of the total segments or 10 to be drawn. So this time when I hit apply, if you notice, we now have one, two, three, four, five, 90 degrees. One, two, three, four, five, another 90 degrees. 10 total segments out of our 20 total segments are drawn. So we get a nice little half of a room drawn out. Look at that. Nice and simple, really easy. And of course we wanted to do it in full. We could just do the 20 and hit apply. And of course I don't have a pivot point so that won't work. So let's go to our top. Let's set up our pivot point here and hit apply. And now we'll go ahead and get a full 360 degree circular kind of like a drain. We'll go ahead and undo that. Go back into our top perspective and we'll look at our other options. So that's how you would determine if you're going to have certain things. Now align to side. Let's go ahead and set this up into five segments. And let's duplicate this and we'll have, show it in two different ways. One right here. We'll go ahead and set this up and we'll do apply. And then one right here. We'll set this up and we'll do a line to side and we'll hit apply. And we'll go ahead and we will look at our perspectives. Now looking at this, you're not really going to see much of a difference. We have to look at our perspective to see the difference. Let's grab our item, move it over here, and let's try to look at the difference. So when we did the original, and we did not have a line to sight on, the entire thing is basically going to be even space. You'll notice our distances from the beginning to the end are even. On this one, as we are doing a line to sight, you're going to notice we have a little bit of a difference here. And we actually have extra segments. Technically, we have one, two, three, four in the middle and then five and six, one on each end. And if you notice on here, we had one, two, three, four, five exactly. You'll also notice if we take this one and we match it up, it's gonna be slightly different. Well, it's slightly different because of the fact that the align to end will basically try to set up the start point and the end point exactly where our pivot point was at. And it's gonna give us a little bit extra on each side. If we were to delete these, click on here, let's make this a little better. We'll put each of these lined up on an edge and I'll make sure I do my pivot point right there as best as possible. We'll set this up for a full circle and we will hit apply. We'll set this up the same way. We'll do that and we'll hit apply. And there you go. And you'll notice again, we have almost identical, but your difference being our end point and our start point here, they do not have the same amount of um, your, your partitions, your, your segments, there we go. Your segments are not equidistant and your segments are not equal in size. If you don't align it to side, they're all gonna be the same. If you align it to the side, it's gonna go ahead and try to keep that basically 
centered along this point. So if you notice here, these are all equidistant, except for this one, which is split in two. And it's equidistant because the middle part technically falls upon right here, and half is split here, and half is split there. If we were to actually look at this in our perspective, you're not going to see a difference. But when you're trying to create something that's not a full circle, and you need to maybe have a texture map, map up properly, you're going to want to play with the align to side and use that. Let's try another example just to get something funky. Let's go with our, and keep in mind here, your brush shapes are only needed when you create. If you delete your brush shape, it's not going to delete your brush itself. Your brush is created from your brush shape. So let's say we did something like, let's see, a left perspective. And maybe we made it where, let's see, let's, let me try something here. We went to there, to here. This is a little bit of an overhang. And then we went to there. I went to there, a little bit back here, back to here, and then we had a little bit of curb here. And of course, this is going to totally screw everything up. Okay, so one thing you'll notice here is hitting the escape key will back up one point. So that is one thing to keep in mind. So if you actually made a mistake, and you need to go back a little bit, you can hit the escape key and it will reverse one point. So let's say we have this and we'll go ahead and go back to our top and we will set our pivot point right here with the alt middle click button. We're gonna go ahead and we want this to be kind of like a tunnel. So let's go to lathe, let's set this up for five and hit apply. Let's see what this did it come out like I wanted? No, it did not because this is the top down one. Yeah, I meant to do top. Yeah, okay. So let's delete this. What I meant to do was draw from the top. There we go. I'll draw a little bit of a because, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be just from the side view you can also pull out from our top view which is what i'm doing here and then now when we go to our left view uh we're going to want to go to our front view actually we'll go to our front view and we'll move our pivot point let's move our pivot point to something like that and we'll go ahead and lay out something like that let me go to our perspective and we have kind of like this weird looking <laughs> pipe or something like that Maybe it's like a side of a building, something like that. So that's it. That's what our lathe is going to do. Basically create a brush shape with your pen tool. Use one of your perspectives to rotate around the flat plane on your brush shape. And it's going to go ahead and give you a design. It's going to give you something to fill in. You could use this for something like a tunnel. Or you could use it for, like I did there, a set of seating or something where you want to get more complex shape out of a basic brush. Remember, you can delete the brush shape when you're done with it, and it will not affect your actual box brush itself. Think of the brush shape as a template. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.